Sophia Hoover here with 802 Live. Today is Tuesday, November 17th, and here's today's announcement. Friday's football game is away, and that's all that we have this week. Getting to know you. Hey everyone, we've been doing our Getting to Know You series with our teachers, and now it's time to do it with one of our students. This is Haley. So Haley, how long have you been going to point schools? I have been going to point schools since the second grade. Oh my gosh, that's a long time. <laughs> so tell us about some of your hobbies. Um, I like to dance, I like to play sports, a lot of sports. Uh, I like to watch Netflix and hang out with my friends. Nice, nice. And do you have a favorite memory out of all of those things? Most definitely playing a sport each season. Getting to play a sport each season was fun and exploring a lot. So. Nice, nice. That's good that you got to explore lots of yeah. uh, things here. <laughs> yeah. um, so what are your plans after high school? Uh, I'm going to community college for two years, and then I'm transferring to a university and uh, majoring in dance. Oh, wow, nice. Yeah. And you're an amazing dancer. I'm sure thank you'll you. go super far. And do you have anybody that you'd like to thank? Honestly, all of my coaches and the faculty at North Point, Coach Bly, Tim, all the cafe staff, it's been, they've helped me through a lot of things. Nice, nice. Guys, this is Haley. If you see her around, say hi. Back to you guys in the studio. Good morning. This week is Homelessness Awareness Week, and today in the studio we'll be talking about how to help the homeless according to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. As of January 2019, Arizona has had an estimated 10,007 people experiencing homelessness on any given day. So we're going to show you guys how you can help out the homeless and make some bags to give them items that they could use. So first things first, I have water bottles because everyone needs to stay hydrated. Of course, of course. And then I brought a toothbrush, toothpaste, and floss. And then I have socks and granola bars, but other food items that don't take as long to expire work as well. And so you can put pencil. all of these items in a bag. And this Ziploc bag can be multi-purposeful for them. After they're done with these items, they can fill it with something else or use the bag for something else. So it's perfect. And if you guys want to make these items at home and give these bags away this season, just remember that you can put in items that we take for granted every day. And don't forget to go with people like your family and friends. And here we have some information about where you can go to help those in need. And those are just three of the places that you can go this holiday season or anytime, actually. And that is all we have for you today, so make sure you're checking the slides, our social media, and your Google Classroom. Why? Because we're always on air, online, and on you.